Have you ever been frustrated by empty contact properties like company name or phone number when that contact is already associated to a company that has all that information? Well, don't worry. You're one quick workflow away from solving that problem. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. If you have any HubSpot subscription, professional or enterprise, you've got the workflows tool available to you where you can copy properties from the company record to the contact record. So today we're gonna to show you exactly how to do that. We're in our workflows tool now. You'll get here by going to automation and workflows. And we are going to create a new workflow by clicking this orange button up here. And we're gonna do this one from scratch. In our case, we want a contact-based workflow and a blank workflow. We'll hit next. So for our triggers, we're gonna click set up triggers and we want two triggers on this. We want this workflow to start anytime a contact doesn't have the company name property filled in, but is associated to a company. So we'll do contact properties and company name is unknown. And then we'll do and contact properties, primary associated company is known. Apply that filter and save it. Then we'll add our action that will allow us to copy that property. So we'll add an action, go down to property management down here and copy company property value. We're gonna choose a property on that company record of their name, so company name and we're gonna copy it to the contact that's enrolled in this workflow. The target property is going to be company name, but you could do this for, if you want the company's phone number to be put in the contact as the phone number, if we don't have another phone number for the contact, exact same steps, anything on the company record, you could do this for. So company name is what we're doing this one for. Hit save. And nice simple workflow, that's all you need. So these two triggers, this action, after you've got this in here, you're gonna do review and publish. And you'll probably wanna do this for all of the contacts that are already in your system that are associated to a company and don't have that company name known. You can wait a minute and this will show you how many contacts that is true for. And if you wanna do that for everybody in the system, you'll click yes, enroll existing contacts who meet the trigger criteria as of now. If you would only wanna do this going forward, you would click no. In our case, we're just in our sample portal. I'm just gonna click no and hit turn on. Now, anytime we associate a company, a contact to a company and their company name field on the contact level is blank, HubSpot will automatically fill it in for us. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how to's, make sure you hit that subscribe button and jump down to the description below to sign up for the HubSpot Hacks newsletter. See you next time.